Unfortunately, I am in Georgia and I left my camera at college. So I'm using my MacBook today because I wanted to film and I don't want to wait. So yeah, this shirt is from The Handmaid's Tale. I used to love watching this show. I've never read the book. Um, but yeah, it's really toasty outside and that's the tea. I'm going to show you guys some of my paintings because I keep them here at home. I don't travel with them whenever I go back and forth from school. First one that I'm going to show you is my Lady Gaga. This is kind of the one that started it all. This whole tradition of painting artists trying to capture one of my favorite outfits that she wore or one of my favorite looks of hers. For me, it's this one. I'm not sure if it's the Grammys or what the like title of the award is, but she wore this to one of her award shows, her red carpet or whatever. Tattoos, her jewelry, her little beauty marks. Love those little details. And her lips, her hair, all the goods. The next one I painted is Tyler, the creator. Ooh, that's nasty. Okay. This one was super fun to do. It was my second artist painting that I created. And I love doing these artists without faces, which might be kind of weird to some people. But um, this was just my style last summer whenever I started painting these because honestly, I suck at realism. So I just thought like, oh, we're just gonna like cover up their face and um, people will just know who it is. Just like a little art education piece. There's something called iconography and that is basically a visual symbol or element that kind of alludes to like a bigger picture or something else. So like golf, for example, if you just saw this hat, you would think, oh, that's Tyler the Creator. So iconography is something that kind of like connects the dots, if that makes sense. And I'm gonna show you a painting that I did for somebody. I don't have that one with me because I gifted it to somebody, so hey boo, that's yours. Okay, it is a Lil Wayne painting, and this one was so fun to do, oh my god. I love doing the tattoos, and I have this painting medium, it's called like a blending gel, and it basically like waters it down a little bit and makes it more jelly. So it's not as like opaque, but basically I mixed that with the black paint and then I was able to make these tattoos look more like realistic and like on skin. Just the whole project I really enjoyed. And then I will show you guys these paddles that I did. Um, sophomore year of college, Mac Miller swimming album cover. And this one was super fun to do. There's elements of it that aren't really super accurate, like his feet in the actual one are dirty, but just for the purpose of like something like this, I just left his feet white and pasty. Hope y'all don't mind. Next paddle that I have is this one. It's not completed. I actually made a completed one for somebody else and gifted it, so I don't have that one. But if I do have a picture, I'll show it. But basically the only thing missing is the ghost. But this is the Kanye and Kid Cudi, Kid See Ghosts album. And then on the back we have Astro World. This one was so fun to do. I love this one. So I have painted a couple palettes. Oh, I think I might have another picture of um, a Lil Wayne palette that I did. So I did that canvas for somebody and also the um, paddle. So if I can find that, I'll insert it. It should be the Carter Five album of him and his mom, you know, him as a little kid or whatever. And then these are unrelated to artists, but I'm still gonna show them. So the first one that I'm gonna show is this swan painting that I did. And I used this cool like iridescent kind of paint for the water and part of the clouds. The whole meaning behind this one is just like 
the yin and the yang, dark and light, and also just like the peaceful, graceful energy of swans, I think are pretty neat, and the meaning of a black swan. So yeah, I just decided to do this. Um, I think I did this in the beginning of quarantine, but I think it looks so nice. Love it. The next one is this, I didn't finish this one, but it is a little, marijuana reference painting which I like making or I used to like making I don't really make them anymore but here we go we got Squirtle Charizard and um shit what is his name Bulbasaur I don't know here's the homies here's the weed here's the grinder so I thought this one was a little clever I think I saw something like this on Pinterest and I just wanted to like make my own spin on it but how clever, right? So cool. And the next one is Kyle. And I will insert the album cover that I was inspired by for this one. I just really like the colors of it. And this was like one of my first few that I did. Um, so it doesn't look the best. It's a little streaky and um, not exact, um, but that's okay. So just to describe like why I paint so many artists related paintings is because there will be certain songs or albums or lyrics and things like that at a certain period in my life and I kind of want to like document it because that song, album, lyric, whatever was really important to me at that time. So at this time I really liked his album, I think that was the name of it. One of the song titles was Clouds and also Zoom, and I really liked the message behind some of those songs, so that's why I painted Kyle. Then we have this, I love this one, oh my god. So um, this is kind of more like a spiritual existential crisis inspired painting. The whole concept behind this is should I trust my head, my heart, or my gut? And the reason why I made it kind of wonky, like this is where the lungs would go and the diaphragm and esophagus and you know, all the goods. I'm not a nursing student, so don't quote me. But just like this refreshing like vibe. I don't know, you can get what you want out of this, but I just really enjoyed painting it. And I think the importance behind it is that all three are connected and that you should have um, a solid idea of who you are and what you're about and what you believe in and if you do then this won't be an issue you won't have to think about what should you trust most because you'll just trust yourself if that makes sense so that is what inspired this one this is my beautiful painting I love this so much it's all inspired by my artists that I really liked at the time we have Frank Ocean over here and then the Odd Future Donut. Then next to that we have John Mayer and the Grateful Dead. And then Tyler the Creator, Childish Gambino, Kanye. Kanye's got his whole ass corner. And then right above that we have Cuddy. And then we have the Migos and Drake from one of their music videos. I think it was Walk It Like I Talk It or something like that, I forget. But anyways, they had these really funky like styles in this music video and it was like vintage-y kind of, so I thought I'd paint that. And then we have the um, Walk Boy Drake look alive. And then over here we have the North Atlanta, you see? So yeah. Um, this is kind of a funny story, but I actually, there was this dude on Instagram a while ago and he was like super interested in this, wanted to buy it. And he was out here bragging that he lives in New York and he just moved into this penthouse and he has so many TVs and, but he still has all this blank space on his walls and he really wanted this beautiful piece of art to add to his collection. And we were like negotiating prices and stuff and because he was out here at Flexin', um, his Rolexes and his expensive ass cars and things like that. I was like, oh, like how about 700? Like, let's just see, whatever. And he was like so serious about it, but he, I think he was just trying to flex, basically is the story. Men, don't flex what you got. You know what I'm saying? Like just be a humble dude 
and have a good attitude and be kind and loving to people and yourself and there's no need to be like the penthouse dude. And then the last two that I'm going to go over are my putty painting. I freaking love this shit. I did this last summer. I mean, you can tell a theme that I painted a lot last summer. Um, but I'm so happy with this. The only thing I would fix is in this corner over here. I want to add something else to it. Um, but for now, I don't really feel like working on it, so I'm not going to. So, yeah, we have all of his albums. Well, not every single one, but most of them. I love meshing together all of the albums from one artist's body of work and kind of transforming it into a painting. My most recent creation is a Drake painting and it's the exact same size as the other one. I'm so excited about this. Oh my God, I took so long on this. I'm so happy, wow. Okay, <laughs> I have views over here. This is Scorpion. I didn't want to paint his whole face because the canvas was already packed. So I thought it'd be nice just to add in like his signature. Um, then we have More Life. Dark Lane Demos, So Far Gone. I love that album. I think that's probably one of my favorites from him. I really love like older Drake. And then we have Care Package on that end. Then we have Take Care, What a Time to Be Alive, I believe. And then Thank Me Later. This one's also super good. Like Karaoke, great song. Um, why do I keep having problems with my memory? Like, damn. Oh, if you're reading this, it's too late. No shit, Madison. Okay, duh. Nothing was the same. And if you're familiar, he has two different album covers. Like I think one's like a deluxe version or something. I honestly don't know how that works. But yeah, love it. We have him as a kid and then him as an adult. We got the chain. We got the little hair pick. And yeah, I'm just so excited and happy about this. I'm having a little bit of a crisis because I know I could make decent money or good money off of selling these paintings but I also just love them and I don't know that I want to like give up my babies because the thing about painting for me is it's kind of like a time capsule like it documents a piece in my life that I want to remember so obviously for example like the Drake one Drake's music was really important to me these past few months like during quarantine quarantini and all that it's like my emotional state I don't know basically i just drake was soothing is all i'm trying to say and last summer it was cuddy so that's why i did the entire cuddy body of work painting so i kind of want to just make it a tradition for each year to at least make one of those big paintings of an artist that's really inspiring me at the moment or that i'm just really enjoying i hope you guys enjoyed seeing my painting collection and i actually have a couple more that i'll insert pictures of here one of my Frank Ocean paintings. I did all of his albums or most of his albums and um, I just kind of wanted to do like the iconography, these different joints, even though it may not even say the album name, just the visual elements of each joint make it his body of work in a representative form. So that is that one. And then this one, is my sloth smoking weed and i did this last summer as well and i thought about making a friend for him and i started to do that but then i just got bored because i already painted it once so i didn't really want to do it again but i love it and it's very colorful and snazzy i never go on it unless i like just completed a painting and then i'm going to post it but other than that i don't stay active on there so if you ever want like commissioned work or anything like that we can talk, you can hit me up in the comments if you want, um, or we'll figure out a way to message. But the thing about me and painting that I'm gonna let y'all people know is I personally don't want to do commissioned work unless I'm passionate about whatever the person is wanting. So I may say no, and most of the time I do say no to people. I don't know, that might be a little like intimidating to people that wanna like ask me. And I probably should work on being more of like a reliable artist in that sense and be more of like a businesswoman and like actually take care of business. But for now, I'm just kind of painting for myself. Painting is special to me because it's like,
the one thing in the world that completely like numbs my brain out and I'm just so focused on one thing. And I don't mean numbing in a bad way or like a toxic way. It's just like a way to clear my head. And some people might go running or do whatever they do, but for me, it's painting. It's kind of like a meditative thing for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you like my work. I would say I'm not like the best painter in the entire world or anything like that, like at all. And I'm not very great at realism yet. I'm actually taking a painting class this fall. So I will definitely be uploading YouTube videos on the progression of my work and just like giving you a sneak peek of the projects that I'm working on because I believe we're gonna do at least like three or four paintings minimum. I think probably four minimum. But yeah, so I'm super excited for that and I'm pretty sure my painting skills will improve because I have never taken a official painting class before. Growing up, I would go to these like painting summer camps and I think it was called like the purple cow or something. I loved that. Like during summer, that was my little escape and it was so much fun. So I've just kind of carried on this tradition of enjoying painting for a lot of time. Side note, my room is so blank because we are in the process of moving and selling our house. So my mom has been selling furniture left and right every single day. So I no longer have my vanity here, like boo hoo. But I hope you guys have an amazing day or night, whatever you up to out here in this world. I will see you guys in my next video and I will definitely be looking a little less janky, but that is okay because self-confidence, you gotta love yourself no matter what you look like. So even on a rough day, you look good. I am gonna have lots of fun art related videos in the future. So if you like art and that kind of thing, subscribe, hit me up, leave a comment, like it, do all that shit that YouTubers say. Bye guys. So do y'all wanna see this sunburn that I got? So first of all, the arms, they're looking a little okay today, but the main show is right here. I'm so scared, what the hell? Uh-uh, uh-uh. I do not like the heat. I'm gonna do a little rant real quick. I can't stand the heat. I appreciate the sun, I appreciate this type of weather because I know some people enjoy it, but summer is my absolute least favorite season of all of them. My favorite is winter, fall, and spring. Primarily winter though. Whenever it's hot outside, I get in a bad mood instantly. I just feel like I am a horse that has been overworked and has been carrying around some fat asses for far too long. Like I'm just like, 